Hello, and welcome back to my channel. As promised in my previous video, because April is National Poetry Month, I'm going to be doing some videos this month in which I recite some poems I know by heart, some special favorite poems to me, and um, I'm going to be starting with um, Bertolt Brecht's The Burning of the Books. First, I'm going to be reciting it in the English translation I've known since I was 15 years old in um, the spring of 1995 when I was a freshwoman in high school, and then I'll be reading it in German later. I don't know the German by heart, and I should um, just, you know, mea culpa in advance, you know, if I mispronounce any German. I've never had any formal German classes. It's because, like, all the German I've ever, like, learned has been, like, self-taught, and it's one of my absolute favorite languages, and I also really, really love and admire Bertolt Brecht. I even um, wrote a research paper on him in my um, senior year of high school in my AP English class. He was just, you know, such a, an amazing, inspiring person. You know, we have, like, a lot of things in common as well, and he um, left Germany in 1933 because, like, his ideas and his writings weren't very popular with those in charge, and his um, wife of the time, um, Helena Weigel, was also Jewish. She was, like, a great womanizer throughout his life. You know, she wasn't his, I don't believe she was his first wife, and she definitely wasn't his only wife, but, you know, anyway, he was just, like, a really interesting, fun person. Now, yeah, he's just one of those people who's more than just, you know, a favorite writer. He's someone I admire greatly as well. So, here, let's get on with the um, poem, The Burning of the Books. When the regime commanded that books with harmful knowledge should be publicly burnt on all sides, oxen were forced to drag cartloads of books to the bonfires. A banished writer, one of the best, scanning the list of the burned, was shocked to find that his books had been passed over. He rushed to his desk on wings of wrath and wrote a letter to those in power. Burn me, he wrote with flying pen. Burn me. Have not my books always reported the truth? And here you are, treating me like a liar. I command you, burn me. So this is the German text, which I found on the title in German is, is Die Bucher Ver Brennung. Als das Regime befahl, Buchner mit Schad Lichherren wissen, öffentlich zu verbrennen und allen Talben, Ochsen gezwungen ver wurden, Karren mit Buchern zu den Scheiterhaufen zu ziehen, entdeckte ein verjagter Dichter einer der Besten, die Liste der Verbrannten studierend entsetze. Das seine Bucher vergessen waren, er eilte zum Schreibzis, zum Beflügelt und schreib einen Brief an der Machthaber. Wer brennt mich, mich schrieb et er mich fliegender Feder, wer brennt mich, tut mir das nicht an, lascht mich nicht übrig, habe ich nicht immer die Wahrheit Berichtet in meinen Büchern, und jetzt werd ich von Joich wie ein Lugner behandelt. Ich befehle Joch, verbrennt mich. Hopefully my German pronunciation wasn't too difficult to understand again. This isn't, you know, something I'm familiar with in German. I'm more familiar with it in English. And um, the next poems I should be doing videos of are... Shakespeare's sonnet, um, 29 and 145. I previously did, um, 145 when I was discussing my book whose title is inspired by that sonnet, but I was, like, really humiliated when I had to look down at the page twice, particularly because I had just previously recited 136 lines perfectly in medieval Italian, and I'm fumbling with, like, a 14-line sonnet in my own native language, like, which is basically almost modern English, there's very little Elizabethan English in it, so, you know, I really want hope to redeem myself by reciting it perfectly that time, and there's also a few other poems here and there I'll hope to reciting during this month, so um, thank you very much for listening. Please consider sharing, um, subscribing, and, and commenting, and liking, and see you guys again very soon. Thanks. Bye.